And welcome, I'm Vincent McCory. This is Africa 54. Now, British police have arrested 12 people in connection with Saturday night's terrorist attack in London, which left seven people dead and close to 50 others injured. World leaders have condemned the attack and urged citizens everywhere to be vigilant. And many people expressed defiance in the face of terrorism, saying they will continue with their lives as usual. VOA's Zlad Zahok reports. At the busy Los Angeles airport, flights for London were filling up the day after the terror attack, as they do on any other day. People returning home to Britain and U.S. visitors said they were not changing their travel plans. Just have to be cautious and keep living our life and not let it stop us. We have to have confidence in the security mechanisms that are in place. We've already bought the tickets for everything and we're staying right in the city. <laughs> The London Bridge area remained cordoned off Sunday as armed police and counter-terrorism officers combed the area where three attackers the night before drove a van into pedestrians and then jumped out and started stabbing people who were enjoying Saturday evening out. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted a message saying we must stop being politically correct and get down to the business of security for our people. He scolded London Mayor Sadiq Khan for telling citizens there is no reason for alarm. Khan asked Londoners to be vigilant but said the city is one of the safest in the world. One of the things that these terrorists want to do is to disrupt our way of life. They want to stop us enjoying the freedoms that we have, enjoy us mingling and mixing on a Saturday night in the heart of uh, London having a good time. They want to stop us voting on Thursday in the general elections and enjoying the democracy that we, uh, uh, we have. We can't allow them to do that. The attack in Borough Market, a popular London evening venue, comes two weeks after a suicide bomber attack at a pop music concert in Manchester. The performer, American singer and actress Ariana Grande, sang in Manchester Sunday night again at a benefit concert called One Love Manchester. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.